guys. Vlog miss is real life because you guys are along all of month of December hanging out with TJ and I. We were just at the Hunt & Co office. Your girl had a little mini seizure dealing with little things about brain cancer. One of them is little minor seizures, not where I lose consciousness, big ones like the ones that put me in the hospital, but just little minor ones. I'm not gonna let it upset my day though. Normally I do, but I let a couple tears fall. Tej was right there with me. He's my best friend. And now we're going to HRE. Can you say a mini seizure? Let it me. doesn't mean, that you don't have to get into it. She's okay, sometimes she just has No, I can, her, her, I can explain for like, you guys. It's like, imagine your motor just misfires a little bit. That's what happens sometimes. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll see a lot of comments on this video. Seizures are so common. Before I was diagnosed, I thought, when I heard seizure, I thought foaming at the mouth, fall to the ground, but a lot of people, I think it's actually like 30% of America experiences what's called focal seizures, where whatever area of the brain is misfiring, for me, it's like visual, so I just see weird things and I feel off and I needed to go just lay down and calm down. For some people, it's like motor related. I have a friend who I met along my journey who has a brain tumor in her movement center and her seizures just look like her, like, Ow. going like this. He's gave me a dead arm, man. It's I just wanted too, an excuse to punch him. It's too early in the morning for this. So we just left the office. We just put in like an hour's worth of work just to kind of help get some orders going along. Shout out to everyone who's been ordering stuff for the E90 M3 giveaway. If you don't know, we're giving away my E90 M3. Every $5 you spend gets you one entry. Should we give, and should we give we just, away this G82 instead? No, absolutely <laughs> no, we should. We just dropped a whole bunch of new t-shirts and sweatshirts and all this stuff. So if you haven't checked it out, it's linked down below. But we are heading to go to a meeting at HRE this morning. HRE is actually like five minutes from our Hunco office. So we're having a quick little meeting about next year. Don't want to say anything too much. Don't want to give anything away. Don't want to get myself in trouble. So I'm going to go and do that. Sprinter's going to probably take a little nap in the car. I'm going to see how comfy these seats really are. See if they're nappable. They're Maybe a little stiff. Back. They're great. I think they're, they're, they're pretty they're, comfy. It's a bucket seat. It's a very comfortable it's bucket seat. Bucket. So like they're not the best. The BMW community is going to roast me. They're amazing. <laughs> but just like any they're stiff comfy. seat, I think I after two hours, my lower back starts to hurt. Uh -oh. I experienced when I was in New York, but they're the best seats. You, I love these seats, they're super great. TJ's in HRE, I'm waiting in the car because every time after I have a little episode like that, I normally get a really bad headache. So I'm just in here chilling out, but I wanted to just come on here and say one thing before we continue this Vlogmas on a happy note. I just feel it is important to share with you guys. Like we share our lives with you on the internet and we share all the fun stuff and all the fun new cars. And I also wanna make it a point to share the not so fun stuff. Like just the daily struggles we go through every day. We all go through them. We all have them in our lives. Life is not happy and fun and exciting all the time. We all know that. Sometimes life is really hard and it's really sad and it's really scary and fearful and just all these things. And as I'm just sitting here processing my life and kind of processing the hard things I have to go through, I wanna just remind you guys again, like TJ, and I always try to do that just because bad things are going on doesn't mean that there's so much joy to be had. So I'm gonna pick my head up, not cry and be sad about today and enjoy the rest of my day. Sitting here looking at all these HREs on everybody's car. All the employees have HREs on their car here, obviously. And I'm feeding on what wheels I wanna put on the earth because we still haven't decided what we're doing with that car, even though we have some ideas going on in the background and you guys are gonna get some updates during Vlogmas on it. But I'm gonna take a nap, bye. Nice. The the TJ was on the phone, so he couldn't make any commentary about those JDM legends we saw in the back of that car. Yeah, did what did you see think? that? <laughs> there was a Supra and an RX-7. Wow. They looked better than yours. Just kidding. Oh, doctor. Ah! Ah! Picked up some foodies on our way to the other shop. Hello? Is this thing on? Is it? I'm so close oh. to bringing them for you. Hello. You know what comes in today, Kev? That hopefully happens while we're here. I at do the for Vlogmas. You know what comes in today? I'm here. Do you know what comes in today? Hello, Vlogmas. My, oh, don't show what's in the trunk. That's Sabrina's Christmas present. I got some Kith M4 floor mats. You know who also has Kith M4 floor mats? I do. You're gonna be so for those who don't know, Kevin actually was considering about selling his no, old piece of crap I and what to the get. How are you gonna say that? That's a piece of crap. I take it back. I take it back. I love Kevin's car. Kevin's been on the BMW and Dylan. BMW the, boys. You've been on the BMW game for so long, and I've been so I told you, outside you need to come of the back. circle. I'm Look, so in it. You see this circle? You're in it now. Yeah. I'm this in circle it. is in. I'm and in. You I'm, are I in. feel so happy to be here. How uh, good does it feel, though? It feels fantastic. Kevin hasn't seen this car yet. I have um, not. Kevin loves this car way more than I do. Well, not, oh. even, not anymore. But I want Kevin to see it and, and experience Dude. it. I've shown a lot of, of our friends' reactions of this car. I mean, like, if you had to get a competition, like, it had to be BRG, right? 
It's well, I only bought this car because it was BRG, and then I was like, wait, this car is actually great. Oh, go sit. Oh my god. In the sun, though, honestly, the paint really comes out a lot. I know in a lot of the shadows and stuff. Very dark in oh. shadows. Yes, it does get a lot darker, but honestly, in person, in the sun, beautiful color. Yes, it needs to be seen in person, or it needs to be seen in the sunlight. I think I really like this orange. I think the orange is sick. Like I've I was seen hesitant, it. and then when I got in it, and I, you see the orange contrast with the green, I'm like, yo, that hits different. I thought it was gonna be like a tiny bit more tan, but honestly, I really like the orange. It's like pumpkin orange. Yeah. It's a really good pop to it, because I've, I've seen the red. You see a lot of reds. I've seen the whites, like you've seen the black, but like, when you see like the orange, you know, you've never seen like a BMW with the orange, have you? So today we're gonna try and tackle one of my biggest complaints with this car, and almost every car that's new these days, and that is that this car is so quiet. Now, this car is also very quiet, but I also feel like this is one of the worst sounding BMWs ever to be created. Now, the first time you guys might hear me say that, you might be like, what? TJ, how can you say that thing sounds bad? But a lot of the exhaust setups on this car just sound like fart boxes or they just honestly just don't sound good. And I've been going back and forth about what type of exhaust, what company I want to use, if I want to go equal like mid pipes or not. And there's so many different this, thans, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm telling you now, we're going to go through probably three to four different exhaust setups before I can figure out which one I like. And we're going to start today with testing from one from our friends over at Bomez. We are running a Bomez exhaust on the E90 M3 titanium valve. Sounds amazing. So I reached out to Bomez and I was like, yo, do you have anything cool for this car? I want something that's loud, but I don't want it to be super drony and gross. And he's like, TJ, I have just the setup for you. Give me a little rev. It's trying, but like it just still sounds bad. Before I show you guys the new setup, I'm gonna show you guys the stock setup. Now there's so much added to this exhaust that helps keep it quiet. You have a huge muffler, you have resonators, I like how they do you have thing. cats, and then you also have the downpipes, which yeah, also really have crazy. cats. A lot here, a lot going on. So we're gonna be getting rid of this today, or at least some of it. And we're gonna try and find the noise level we want, because we don't want to be too rowdy, but we want to be just rowdy enough. Oh, that's that's the motto right there. Not enough to get in trouble, but enough to make some trouble. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to see. Take it off, take, take it off. All right, as we let the exhaust cool down, I'm gonna go ahead and take this badge off. Well, maybe I'm not. There we go. The badge is no more, is what I was gonna say. I've been currently watching Wednesday on Netflix. I was gonna say oh, nevermore. I'm, I'm gonna start, I'm about to start Wednesday. That's where, oh, she dies in episode two. So well, that's right. Anyways, <laughs> I'm swapping license plate frames. I saw a comment yesterday. I was like, yo, you should put the new stack chips by whips plate because it has gold on it. And I'm like, you're right. That would look really good. We also, we added a bunch of license plate frames. I'm really hyped on it. If you haven't seen it, the link down below. Do you want to hold the camera and I do this big install or? What are they, here, yeah, I guess. Here, here you go, dude. What do they get if they get the license plate frame? They get an entry for running my BMW E90. Are you kidding there, me? There it is. This is the most difficult install of the day. My Mobile finger is blistering. License plate install. This vlog is, I feel a real slow start, guys. This is vlogmas day three. We're just inspecting Kevin's fingernails. Well, you like I, I, <laughs> well, there you go. Nice. Well now we have well, now, there's now, now we have the <laughs> Well his hands are real filmer. Uh, it's his hard right. uploaded. Just You're just eating candy. Nice to try, asshole. What did you say? Uh-oh. Where's this? Oh. 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 So this exhaust is a mid-pipe section. It's gonna delete resonators and some of... Is it cats up there? Or is that oh. also a resonator? These I think yeah. we're gonna be deleting four different resonators, but something with BMWs that I was just made aware of in the last, like, I don't know, however many years, they started to make their, like, cat back systems, one solid piece. So this system is not a full replacement. It's actually just gonna be getting rid of the mid pipe and getting rid of all the resonators. It's gonna allow us to have a little bit more volume, but it's gonna allow us to keep away from all of the rasp that you just hear so much in these cars. So this is gonna be a big jump in volume, but it's not gonna be a full send, which is where I wanna start because I think that's a really good middle point on volume on this car. So we're gonna be making a cut right before the muffler of the car, and we're gonna be connecting it to this mid pipe. And all that's gonna be done while using these... Just slip-ons? It goes over the I don't understand how it, it's gonna be like this, but on the inside. So we're gonna make a cut right, right here. It'll be like that. And that is just gonna this clamp to the clamp. actual pipe in uh -huh. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so this will I've make never it seen a this slip. Before. This is like all new to me. So this will slip over, and then this will, you know, slip on first, and then we'll tighten it. We'll clamp it. 
And then we have these like I don't know, bowed little ring cl clamps for this section. Oh, because it's bonus? Yes. It's exactly why it is. Yeah. Trademark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all own five cents. <laughs> <laughs> this exhaust is, I think, really unique. At least it is to me because we're going to be modifying the factory exhaust. And we're still going to be keeping this big muffler and this stock setup. As I mentioned, I'm going to use a couple different exhaust setups. We're going to find which one we like most over the Vlogmas time period. We're going to start here. And I'm excited because this car desperately needs an exhaust. Yeah. We're going to start towards the front end of the car and we're going to piece all this together because we have to cut the factory exhaust. We don't know where we're going to cut yet, so we're going to build it first, hold it up, and then make our guess. So it's an interesting combination on how to make everything fit. I've never used this type of clamp before. Yeah, but I've never seen it. Oh! <laughs> oh! I got you. It'll be fine. Don't worry, I got the rest of you. Oh! <laughs> oh! Go 911! Let me see it. Me see. Don't, look, don't look, don't look, don't oh, look. Oh, right, right here. Where? Right here. Ow you're, ow, you're hurting me right here. It's getting everywhere. A human can Dude. be flipped over. Ow! Chill, chill, relax, 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 relax. I'm gonna blow on it. I'm gonna blow on it, right? Kiss it. Ah. Yeah. Ah. You gotta kiss it. Uh, see, you're all good. You're okay. See, it just it, it just took a little bit of time. Wait, let me see it. It's like my friend. Like, no, I don't trust you. Let me see it. Just let me no. see it. Get out! Let's get out! Ow! Maybe. See, I told I told you it got me. I'm gonna sue Bomez. What? <laughs> <laughs> you owe another five cents. <laughs> Shit! All right, well, TJ's complaining about that. I touched this, and do you see those marks? That's skin. Dylan also touched it, but he's not human. Dylan's a mountain man. No, this is tight. Well, it's tighter than being looser. Oh. You need to go back a little bit. Oh. Are we? Are we here? Yeah, we're right her. Decent. Just, just remember that where you're marking it at the end of that tube, we want to move it forward about two inches. You wouldn't want to put the universe in a tube. I love Tim and Eric. How do you know? How do you know? How do you he knows. He knows too much. He knows. He's, he's too old. I just spent too much time on the internet. Four chance where I grew up. Age. Yeah. In, <laughs> the comments, in the comments Fun below. Fun yeah, fam. It's over the age of 40. Fam bet or whatever. Bustin. Guess my age. No cap. For no real, cap for real. real. On on God. On God. <laughs> Dude, let's get sturdy Sheesh. after this. Sheesh. Yeah. Yeah. Sheesh, rip. Dylan, what is this? Huh. Right here. I think it's a trans cooler. Huh? I think it's a trans cooler. Oh, yeah. I fucking liked it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Hey. Oh. Wow. Just saying. It's tactical. Uh, so, we cut it. But what happens when you have weight hinging, it starts to pinch the blade. And uh, the disc is so big that you can't reach the top without f***ing up the uh, exhaust shielding, which I don't want to do. So, I was like, how easy would it be to remove? And it's super serviceable and really easy. So, it's like 213s, 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 and then 413s for hey, the Dylan. down pipes. Yo. Can we go back to my said? Wouldn't yeah. it be easier if we just took the exhaust off? And then all three of oh, you guys were like, we're just gonna cut it on the car. So like when you do it on the car, you just get a really good sense Remember? of it. Remember? Huh? Remember when I said, hey, let's just take the exhaust off. It'd be way easier. And now we're taking the exhaust off. Look, I'm, a, I'm gonna the be back or the front. I'm a real experimental, like do it with my hands kind of guy. We we lowered the back in order for us to have a little bit more play up here. So when we remove oh, it. Oh, it's still on. But we're gonna take it off now. So the front. All of it. All of it. Even the rear? Yes. yes. It's all already done. I just we okay. wanted to film it. All right. Here we go. We're taking it off. So now, now we have I was doing something dudes. else. Everyone put a hand on something so you know. Dude. Five dudes, one cup. All Let's right, go. It's happening. We're already doing it. If you're not doing it right now, oh, this is the heaviest part back here. Just hit just hit shoulders. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so long. I'm exhausted. This is so sick. <laughs> oh, I didn't pull the wire into the valves. It just pulled it out of the chassis. Let's start. No, what were you saying? Nothing. No, I. Oh, I was no, really so, talking about how they did. Okay, exhaust is finally finished up. We're gonna get a first start. Don't know what to expect. It's not gonna be too much louder. We still have all the cats and on the muffler and stuff, but I'm excited. <laughs> Kevin, you wanna start it? I wanna be oh, in sure. I wanna be in the back. I wanna hear it. Fire up. Is that I mean it's louder. Yeah, it's but louder. It, but it has that gross BMW sound. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be 
wide open throttle. Oh. It's still pretty quiet, which is what we were expecting. Do it again. Sounds better. Sounds better with the valves closed and the clouds open. It just doesn't sound great. It's not. It's not like an S65 or like an even N55 for that matter sounds better. But S58 is just. It's raspy. I, I, as I started this video, these cars just don't sound good. The volume is there. I yeah. was hoping that it does, because the E58 sounds great. The, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take it off the rack, we're gonna go drive it, we're gonna see how it yeah. sounds under load. I think that will be, help. Just, yeah, I think that will help a little bit. Oh. oh, okay, okay. It didn't sound good from outside, did it? It's clear. Oh, okay. So I don't notice that much of a difference on the inside, like interior volume. Like... Oh my god! Oh, this thing fucking swings so easily. throatier but i'm still getting like a, like a rasp that i don't know if i like and i don't know if we can avoid that so bmw community what can we do to avoid that rasp it's better than stock but i still think we could do better i still think we could do better the search continues we're gonna have to go through a couple of different exhaust setups to find what we really like like hey, this is very cool and what m3 <laughs> What is? Very cool. Oh, uh, fast? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so we just got back from that little drive and I was just driving it myself on the inside. And I realized that Kevin... Oh. Kevin on the inside thought he was opening the exhaust valves. They were closed the entire time. I went in the car. I did it the right way. And the car sounds completely different and actually How sounds really good. Hey. It sounds way better. Hey. How about you host me from over here, it, bitch? It went from like this, to actually, I think it sounds phenomenal. It still sounds gross, but it sounds really good. Can you, can you do it again? Yeah. That's a lot better than what it was. It's not bad. Two thumbs up. This is this is pretty good. I think it's gonna be a tough sound to beat. So before we left the shop, we actually removed the guard plate, support brace, whatever you want to call it, underneath the exhaust. Because we were getting a lot of rattling from underneath that. Now that I got rid of it, the exhaust sounds sounds really good. The rattle was happening on like the D cell and it was giving us like this false sense of rasp. I don't know. I just want to say. There's no fart noise anymore. No, there still is. You just can't really hear it. Which one of you guys in the comments is like, oh, the fart noise it's is... transmission. It's not. It's pretty much like their version of anti-lag. It helps keep... Oh. It pulls timing in between shifts to keep boost. Anyways, um, I just want to say, this is a prototype exhaust from Bomez. I haven't released it yet, but after we kind of figured it out, it sounds amazing. I actually love it. I wasn't the biggest fan at first. We had to fix a few things and I'm in love. This is great. I still think I might want a little more volume and get a taste of it just to see how it sounds. But this current setup is quiet enough where it's not obnoxious. When you go in normal M mode, it's quiet. When you open it up, you definitely get more volume, but it's not like over the top at all. But I really like it. This car doesn't sound as bad. It sounds pretty good right now and I'm enjoying it. So I just wanted to make sure I said that clip earlier when we did the polls, it wasn't really that great. Came home for a quick second and uh, swapped out some things, dropped all the stuff off from the shop, and we are going to be going to dinner. And I was like, mm, I'm gonna take the M4. Let's, you know, let's keep driving that. And I was like, you know what? I only have so many days left with my E90 M3. I was like, I'm gonna take that car to dinner. So the exhaust setup that I have on this car is actually from the same company, Bomez, who has the downpipes now on the M4. Now this setup is actually notorious for being like one of the loudest setups on the E90 and also one of the quietest at the same time. Oh, I'm just waiting to go get some sush. Oh, come, come, come to the car. Oh, we're taking this one. Yeah. 
Well, this shiny one is right here. Can no, okay. We, we, we can take the old one. I just would hate to crash it because one of these guys is trying to win it. You're gonna crash it? Wow, I would even say that. This car sounds amazing on the pipe. I don't know where I was going with the whole exhausting. I was just telling you guys that these are both from the same company. That, that, that was all. I want to make a note that jumping in the E90 and driving this back to back of the G82, just the E90 has such like a raw feeling to it that you don't get with the G82 and I absolutely love it. And I do want to note one of the things that I truly love is the fact that we were able to add CarPlay to this car. It really makes it feel like new. And if this car didn't have like, you know, the slight creaks and rattles of a car from 2009, you'd never know that this car is from 2009. I think you would. What, what? What would give it away? I don't think the styling is old at all. This is a little... The G82 has like the same exact really? AC control. You've seen it. It's literally right here. This it just... smells like my grandpa. What? <laughs> it smells like a BMW. Maybe all BMWs kind of smell the same except for the new ones. Okay, she couldn't come up with anything else. Oh, she's looking, guys. She's looking. What? I don't... You're looking for something to, to say negative well, about this. Come on, this look at this. Come well, here. I'm going to be replacing that and the window seals and oh, the window I trims the for the comments. new owner. I and saw the comments. There was a lot of comments about the steering wheel. I want you to replace the steering wheel, so it looks like we're going to have to replace this. No, one. I'm going to provide you guys with a backup steering wheel. This one's cool. And you I think, guys, there's only one winner. So man. I'm going to provide you. I'm going to provide you watching the video because you're going to win, baby. I'm, I'm going to provide you with a new wheel. I was reading through your comments, as I usually do. He's going to do it while I'm talking. Oh, careful. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! She sounds good. Dude, sounds, BMWs sounds, sounds, used to sound good. They don't sound good anymore. This sounds, this is like the best sounding car that we own. Oh, wow. All right. I was reading through your guys' comments and I saw like, <laughs> I saw like, maybe six or 10 or more, and I didn't tell TJ, comments that were like, TJ, your new haircut looks like Manny from Ice Age. And I was like, who's Manny? Like for a second I got it mixed up with the sloth. That's Sid, by the way. Anyways, I Google Manny and I see this photo. <laughs> and I start cracking. You're saying I look like a woolly I mammoth? Start, no, 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 you don't look like a woolly mammoth. Just the tip of your hair. In the right angle, <laughs> it does. They can't see. You guys can't see. It looks good right now. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I texted it to Anthony and I was like, hey, make a meme out of this. And he misses the memes. <laughs> He's not amused. He doesn't like it when we make fun of him, you guys. Stop. Don't make fun of his hair. Why is it doing this? Because you don't know how to hold the camera. Okay, naturally. All right, for dinner, we stopped at Arby Sushi. We met up with Nader Gator Hater having a quick little bite. Wow, Instagram eats first. The vlog eats first. You guys get to know what we have. I'm gonna dive in now. We just got home. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but there's like a halo ring around the moon. Do you see that? Do you, do you see that circle? See it? You can kind of see it. It's very, very visible in person. That is cool. For those of you who did not catch yesterday's episode of Vlogmas, we ended it and we had a little homework for you guys. Your homework was to order a cork board or some sort of a board that you can use to create a vision board because we're gonna be creating one together throughout the month of Vlogmas. It's Friday night for me right now, which means it's Saturday night for you guys, but as your school teacher, I don't wanna be that teacher that gives you homework on the weekends and like the reality is I want to give you guys more than just 24 hours for those who purchase one online to go and get your cork board. So we're going to be following up with our vision board in the next video. So stay tuned on that. I'm going to teach you guys how to do this so we can do it together. But I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go to bed. But before I do that, I didn't get to read any names off for orders today. So sorry, the dogs are playing in the hallway and it is so loud right now. I want to give a little personal shout out to everyone who has Supported Hunt Company today and has gotten entries towards winning the E90 M3. I'm gonna list off a couple of names here just to say thank you. First off, we have Carly Hedgepath. Thank you for your order. We also have Hector Septulavita. I butchered that. I know I did, Hector. I really apologize. Jonathan Vargas. Jose Moral Mor Morales. Really just don't know how to say that name. Tyler Clark. Lewis. Guzman, David Sapal Jr., Amanda Pizeki? Amanda Pizeki, should we tell your boyfriend that you got a loss without you maroon in XL? Wisconsin, it must be cold there. 
I don't know, Amanda's boyfriend or brother, if you watch these videos, surprise, I just told you we were a Christmas present once. <laughs> I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for spending another 15 to 20 minutes of your day with me, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, and keep moving forward.